anatomy of neck muscles the muscles that cover the area of the neck are mainly responsible for the movement of the head in all directions based on their position in the neck they consist of three main groups anterior lateral and posterior groups anterior muscles of the neck the anterior muscles of the neck are further classified into superficial muscles suprahyoid muscles infrahyoid muscles and anterior vertebral muscles superficial muscles include platysma and stenocleidomastoid the platysma functions mainly as a muscle of facial expression for example it contributes to producing an expression of sadness by pulling the corners of the mouth inferiorly stenocleidomastoid unilaterally produces lateral flexion of the neck on the same side and lateral rotation of the head to the opposite side suprahyoid muscles the suprahyoid muscles are four muscles located superior to the hyoid bone these muscles include the digastric mylohyoid genioid and stylohyoid muscles the main function of these muscles is positioning of the hyoid bone and coordination of the movements of the flow of the mouth and the hyoid bone while swallowing or vocalization infrahyoid muscles the infrahyoid muscles are four muscles located inferior to the hyoid bone these include the stenohyoid homohyoid stenothyroid and thyrohyoid muscles generally the main function of these muscles is positioning of the hyoid bone and movement of the thyroid cartilage of the larynx during vocalization swallowing and mastication anterior vertebral muscles the anterior vertebral muscles are a deep group of muscles located just anterior to the cervical vertebral column these include the rectus capitis anterior rectus capitis lateralis longus capitis and longus colli these muscles are surrounded by the prevertebral fascia of the neck which is why they are commonly referred to as prevertebral muscles the principal function of these muscles is flexion of the head to varying degrees lateral neck muscles the lateral neck muscles also called as lateral vertebral muscles these are a group of muscles that pass obliquely along the lateral sides of the neck these include the anterior middle and posterior scalene muscles these muscles mainly produce ipsilateral flexion of the neck posterior neck muscles the posterior aspect of the neck is covered by muscles that connect the skull to the spinal column and pectoral girdle these muscles can be divided into three layers superficial layer deep layer and deepest layer the muscles included in superficial layer are trapezius splenius capitis and splenius cervicis the muscles included in deep layer are semispinalis capitis semispinalis cervicis and multifidus muscles the deepest layer includes suboccipital muscles the suboccipital muscles are four small muscles found in the suboccipital region deep to the semispinalis muscles these are rectus capitis posterior major 
rectus capitis posterior minor, obliquus capitis inferior, and obliquus capitis superior, the mean function of the suboccipital muscles is reflected in maintaining posture, but they can also produce movements of the head. Hit the subscribe button if you like this video and press the bell icon.